Hello everyone, today's shave we're going back to the States. This time around is gonna be Alien Shaves with Bowl. First of all, thank you to the guys in Alien Shaves for sending this one. They sent this one for me. I'm really, really, really curious to try this. I tried a previous one from them, which actually I have here. Give me a second. There we go. Alien Shaves here. The Solar Lime. This one in particular was like a hard, hard soap and it comes on a tin and gave me great leather and it looks like it wasn't even used yet I, I did a few head shaves with it already still here still as as new I'm gonna try and show there look it's almost no dent there at all but uh yeah, mm, yeah. <laughs> fresh fresh scent so let's put this one back and now for the one they sent me this time around as you guys can see it doesn't come on a tin anymore which for me is an improvement i'm not a fan of tins uh, i definitely prefer something like this and another thing that i like is that this doesn't have grooves coming out or going in it's just straight and it's just easier to store and it looks better in my opinion of course so that's the one we're gonna try by the way it's still sealed i don't know if you guys can see but it has a seal there uh oh thank god i looked at it it's a new formula as well so formula 51 i don't know as you guys know i don't like to do research at all so i don't know what to expect about this formula i don't know if it's vegan i don't know if it's tallow whatever it is we'll find out in the end anyway to go with it i decided to go with just because it looks great it's this more or less the same colors so i'm going back to highlander brushes to my teal and bronze brush love this handle just love it and you guys can see that it's more or less the same colors as on the label there so let's go let's put this one to soak straight away so the brush is there soaking for a razor we got the titanium by design 94 i just decided to go with this one today because it's a bit more aggressive has a bit more efficiency i'm feeling that i need a bit more of that this time around since the last few shaves have been kind of on the mildish side so yeah definitely we're going with the titanium by design 94 and the blade will be the willis because i want to test this one out as well i only used it once i couldn't get the proper idea about it but since i know this razor well we're gonna use this one so that i can see the differences with the the blade let's load the blade on the razor now there we go loaded let's put it on the back there just ready now let's wet the face before we open the soap there we go now just dry the hands there for a second and now let's grab the bowl of alien shaves and let's open up and see what we're working with so here we go alien shaves bowl Now, there's a scent here, feels fresh, but it's very, very subdued on the puck. Very, very subdued. I would say this is one of those that you need to leather to get, to get the scent of it. Very. The other thing as well, it's very shiny. Let me see. It's still, it's still hard. Very hard, actually. Ooh, it's gonna be slippery. Uh, yeah, hard, hard as well. <sighs> Yeah, I would say this one I'm gonna have to leather to feel the scent because this is almost a two. It's not one like you don't feel it or don't have a, any scent, but it's kind of hard to, to, to have the scent there. Feels fresh, but I, I can't identify anything at the moment. Well, let's put the lead on the back there. The other thing as well, actually, before I forget, that I really enjoy about this label, it's all the things to do with bull, like 51 lanes, uh, cocktail lounge, um, yeah, those small little details, <laughs> air conditioned. <laughs> <laughs> nice those nice small little touches just make it funny as well like so really nice so let's go let's put this here on the back and i'm really curious now to leather it up and see if it enhances the scent because at the moment from the puck you can feel that much it's not senseless it, you do have a scent here but it's very 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 subdued very subdued so let's go let's grab the brush and let's start loading it Now I just washed it, so let's put it in the back drying. There we go, they're drying now. Let's grab the brush and let's start leathering. Wow, the explosion of the leather is just... Phew. 
incredible. Loads you guys can see on the brush. But look in my face, how much leather I have here there. It just oh, exploded, just exploded. I'm gonna try to straighten this out, but it's not gonna be easy because so much leather feels silky, silky smooth. It feels dense, but light at the same time. Very, very light. I would say this is enough there. Look, look at this. Just look, incredible. Let's put the brush here on the back and grab the razor. Yeah, scent-wise, it's still subdued. It's still not intense. Uh, it feels woodsy. That's the main uh, thing that I, I feel. It's kind of on a tree kind of scent. It's a very, very subdued. It's probably one of the most subdued soaps I've used lately. Yeah, woodsy. That's the only thing I feel at the moment. It's a very pleasant. Uh, the other thing as well feels fresh, but it doesn't feel citrusy. Mm, I don't know, maybe during the shave something else comes up. Um, yeah, feels... Uh, one thing for sure, the leather feels really, really nice. But the scent, I wish it was a bit stronger, in my opinion, of course. Just a small bit, so you, you have more of the, the nose activated, kind of that way, of the scent during the shave. Because it do have a scent, but it's uh, it's subdued, like, it's really subdued. It, it feels fresh, it feels, there's woodiness there, but um, that's, it's not one that it feels like, whoa, hold on, you know what I mean? That you would feel like, um, that, that's my opinion at first glance now. Maybe we will enhance, maybe it starts spreading, but at the moment it's about a three um, and it's not intense at all, but it feels fresh. As for the leather, oh my god, it just explodes and it feels really light on the skin, but dense, really nice. So let's see the performance now with the Titanium by Design94 with a Willis blade. Second use. Here we go. Oh wow, hold on, oh hold on. Glidiness, top. Soothing of the skin, exceptional. Yeah, feels like it's moisturized. It's a huge difference to the old, old soap that I tried by them, which was good, really good, but it didn't feel like this, moisturizing the skin. Definitely, oh, definitely. And the other thing, still retains the hardness of it. And I would say this is gonna be one that will last a long time because it looks like there was no dent there at all, just like the old one. Kind of. It's a hard crop kind of that way, you know what I mean? It's not hard hard per se. Well, it's, it actually is because if I try to push, it's really hard. Um, yeah, let's put it. But it feels like a crop when you're leathering. Do you know what I mean? That's the difference. I, I feel. Because that one when you start leathering feels like a hard puck. This one feels like more of a crop, but when you feel it, it's really hard, like a, an old puck. So let's go. Let's clean up the razor and let's keep going with the shave. There you go, first pass done. Yeah, the scent is still very, very subdued, but one thing about it is this feels like soothing the skin so much. Definitely an improvement to the, their old formula. Really, really nice. The skin feels moisturized when you finish. The eye, that's one of the things for me. It's just, I love this feeling of you're shaving, but it, your skin feels like it's being moisturized, so it doesn't even feel like you're shaving. I don't know how to explain this, but uh, yeah, love this feeling. Love this feeling. So let's go, let's get ready for a second pass now. There we go. Just right the hand there first. Now let's grab the brush. And you guys can see still loads, loads of leather there. Exceptional there. Yeah, the scent is still very subdued, guys. That's the only uh, thing that I can point out because the slick is still there, still feels like sooty. That's first pass, I'm gonna have to say it. It just feels like I didn't even pass the blade. You know the way I normally don't like to scrub? I feel like I can scrub now, to tell you the truth. And, and it wouldn't feel irritated at all because the, the skin just feels like I didn't even pass the blade there which for me it's really really good like you know uh yeah but the scent is very subdued is a tree hard to feel i think it's woodiness there kind of going fresh but it doesn't feel citrusy but it's very hard to feel so let's go let's get ready for the second pass and put this lovely leather there here we go There we go, we just painted. It's still forming. It, it, look, look at this, look at this pics there. Oh, 
It's just, wow. This leather is exceptional, exceptional. Feels silky, silky smooth on your skin. Feels like it's moisturizing and it just keeps forming. And you guys, I saw, uh, I, I showed you, it doesn't even feel like it had a dent there. You don't see the mark because there's leather stuck inside the grooves there, but it does feel like we didn't even dent it at all. See the way when you use a crop, you kind of feel that it's taking a bit out. That feels like nothing was taken out, kind of that way, you know what I mean? It feels like a hard, hard soap, but uh, when you leather, it, it feels like a croup, which is, yeah, really nice actually. So let's try and straightening it out for the second pass there. Wow. <laughs> Let's go. Still loads of leather there, guys. Look at this. Yeah, let's put it in the back. Let's grab the razor and let's start our second pass with the Design 94 Titanium and the Willis Second Use Blade. Let's go cross. There we go. Second pass that. Yeah. Exceptional leather. Great performer. The skin is moisturized and really, really good. Like, really, really good. The only thing is the scent. Yeah, it gets to a stage that I don't even feel the scent, to, to be honest. It's just, yeah, there's a scent there, but it's very, very subdued. Feels like some kind of wood there. <sighs> Yeah, you really have to push it there. Yeah, that's the only thing I, uh, for me that I would love if it had a bit more intensity in the scent because all the rest in the base, like the sootiness, the glidiness, it's just top notch. Ooh. Yeah, but the scent for me needs a bit more of a oomph there in terms of the scent. Oh, nah, but the skin is just, oh my God, it feels so, so good, so good. Now, let's wash the face there. Well, water the face basically and then check how much we still have there on the brush which it is a lot guys a lot let's go there we go ready the face now let's grab the brush there and check how much we still have left here Wow, guys, this leather is exceptional. I'm actually, I'm trying to have more of a feel of a scent there now, and it actually does feel more like a scent here. Small bit, it, it did intensify because I'm agitating really close to the nose. Yeah, and um, it's woodsiness. That's woodsy, um, a woodsy scent there. There's something um, else here. I'm just gonna keep agitating there and see if it comes up more, because it's still subdued. I still say it's about a three there. Now that I'm agitating, it's kind of enhanced it, like like half a point or something like that. But, oh, this, look, like you can just keep doing this all the time. It just feels so nice, like washing the face, but you're still producing, look, still producing just with the hands. This base is exceptional, guys, exceptional. Look at this, I'm just keep doing it and it's forming. <laughs> with the hand. Great stuff. But yeah, I only feel woodsiness. I have a feeling that they, they have something else here, like whatever. That's the feeling I get, it's just some kind of woodiness there. Feels really pleasant, feels nice, but it, it, it needs intensity, a bit more intensity. If this had a bit more intensity, oh my god, it would be just brilliant. Brilliant. Now, let's take this leather, exceptional leather, guys, look. It's still forming. Look at this. Hey. <laughs> Let's go. Let's take it off now. There we go, guys. Now pet the face. There we go. We just pet it. The face. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This just feels really, really nice. Really, really suited. There's a hint of a smell here in the skin, actually. <sighs> That woodsiness that I was talking about is still there. I don't know if because I agitated so much leather on the face and I was spreading, it actually feels, but if this had intensity, it would be just so good, guys. So let's go, let's grab Witch Hazel and Tea Tree Oil by Boots and let's use it now. There we go, lovely jubbly. Yeah, bit of feedback here on the chin area, but not much. Hmm. Yeah, tell you the truth, I don't think I needed the witch hazel at all, but uh, I always use it, so great stuff. Yeah, yeah. See, the scent of the woodsiness that I was feeling, it's kind of gone there when I added the, the witch hazel. Now I feel the tea tree oil kind of that way. But the skin, oh man, just feels really, really moisturized and suited. Really, really nice. And without being oily and you know, you know what I mean? It just feels, it doesn't even feel like I shaved, guys. Tell you the truth, really, really nice. That's the main thing I'm finding about this leather. So now I'm gonna wash all my stuff, let this dry, and then I'll see you for the post shave. See you in a bit.
We're back. Now, I've been racking my head what to use for the post shave. Since there's not much of a scent there. Oh man, every time I touch my skin, look, it just feels so nice. I don't even need much like, but I'm gonna put maybe a balm just to protect so that I can use some cologne afterwards, you know? So I'm gonna choose one of the balms I have here. Eh, I'll use this one. So we're gonna go with the Taconic Balm. I know it's a good balm, so that's what we're gonna use for a post shave and that's it. Then later on when I get out, I might choose one cologne to use afterwards. So here we go, Taconic Shave Balm. There we go. Yeah, I forgot about one thing. It has menthol. I actually forgot about it. I know it's a good balm. It has a bit of a freshness there. So really good. Actually a great finish to this shave. Now the guys in Alien Shave, I'm sure would want it to send me the aftershave splash, but because it's alcohol based, it's hard to send it over to Europe from the States. Yeah, so that's the main reason we don't have here. But if at any time, if I have a chance to grab it, I will definitely grab it just to see if the scent, it's more enhanced on the, on the splash, which I I would imagine so uh, because being subdued here on the on the puck probably the splash is what will give you the the scent afterwards but I can't attest until I try it and I, as if I have a chance I definitely will grab it so that was our shave today let's recap it and give my final conclusions of the soap so we used my Highlander brush, teal and bronze. Yeah, lovely handle. This not surprised me because it's soft, but has a bit of a back wound there and it leathers really, really well, which I wasn't expecting the first time I tried it, but I'm really enjoying this knot. Then, because I needed a bit more aggressiveness today, the last few shaves were kind of more on the mild side and I really wanted to feel a bit more of a aggressiveness there, you know? I went with the titanium. It's not the most aggressive, but it has some aggressiveness. I just love the heads of the Designs 94. They're just brilliant. They give me just great shaves, great, great shaves. So the Titanium by Design 94 that we used with a Willis blade. A nice blade. Not much to complain at all. Shaves really well. I normally call the Astras the middle of the par, like which they're good, they're uh, efficient and all that, like the old Astras. This is another one that reminds me of it, just like the treats. So easy to shave with, not dulled, not the sharpest, but uh, smooth enough. Surprise, like is yeah, really good blade actually. So Willis Premium made in India. Let's put it back there drying. And now actually before we go into the soap, we finish off with the balm by Taconic Shave. A really nice balm. Has a bit of menthol there, so it gives you a freshness there. I've used it a few times already, so I know it does the job well. Not that we need it, to be honest, because the soap by Alien Shaves there is just really, really, really good. Yeah, my only complaint, I already said it, is the scent could be more intense. Have a, You could feel more of the scent. It's very subdued. Now, this would be exceptional for the guys that don't like intense scents. Telling you grab one of these and the other thing that I'm feeling is like it's gonna last ages because groups you kind of leather and you see that it's kind of giving it a dent you see it going down this one feels like it's gonna be one like the hard pucks that just take ages for you to kill it uh, this is what it feels here it feels like it's a really hard hard puck by the way the croup leather kind of that way it's kind of hard to explain per, per se but that's the feeling I get is like really really hard but when you start leathering it feels like a croup, but as you guys can see, almost no dent there at all. Uh, yeah, it's just not as shiny as it was, but it doesn't feel like, you don't even see the bristles passing there like you would see on a croup. The leather is exceptional. The performance is really, really, really good. Dense, blows up on the brush. The skin just feels gorgeous. The post shave feel is really good. Both passes, it looked like I didn't even pass a blade there. As I said, I didn't need the balm, to be honest. Not even the witch hazel because this definitely suits the skin. Actually, before we go, I was forgetting. Let's go into their site and see what they say about the soap. So, Bull by Alien Shaves. I already gave my conclusions, but let's read what they have in their site before we finish off. 
So we're back there. I have my phone here. I was almost forgetting this to, to be honest. Let's go. Bull. So it's a four ounce, which we already saw there, or for the Europeans, 113 grams. Now let's read what they have here on the site. Introducing our premium shaving soap for men, carefully crafted to provide an exceptional shaving experience, infused with the invigorating scent of wood and tobacco. Okay. Felt the wood. I didn't feel the tobacco, as I said. For me, it was kind of mild. This soap will leave you feeling refreshed and re revitalized. Our unique formula produces a rich, dense leather that softens facial hair. I can attest to that. Allowing for a smooth and comfortable shave, the refreshing notes of cedar and sandalwood awaken your senses. Now, I felt the woodiness. I still say the same. I think it needs a bit more intensity. The warm aroma of tobacco creates a sophisticated and masculine fragrance that lingers on the skin throughout the the day. Elevate your grooming routine with our premium shaving soap and indulge in the ultimate shaving experience. I already said what I think. I'm gonna be honest as always. Uh, if this had more intensity, I wouldn't be surprised that would stay here. I don't feel it now, but in, as I said, the performance is top top notch, but it needs intensity on the scent. A bit more intensity on the scent. Unless it's for the guys that don't like intensity. They don't like intensity. This is perfect for you guys. For me, in my opinion it needs a bit more oomph on the scent that's the only thing the rest is top-notch the feeling the post shave feeling is just exceptional so that's my oh I'm watching here then they have about the formula formula 51 the goat <laughs> So it's basically goat's milk based uh, with glycerin, coconut, so it's not a tallow base at all. I couldn't call it vegan because it has goat's milk. Yeah, but it's probably very similar to the old formula, but with the improvement of goat's milk and other good stuff here. Yeah, I, I can I can feel the goat. I, I'm actually, for you guys that don't know, I'm, I use soap bars and I'm using a goat's um, soap bar now for my showers and all that. And you feel the difference on the skin when you use use goat's milk with the bar soaps anyway so it doesn't surprise me that you feel the difference here in terms of the sootiness as well with the goat's milk nice that's a really good description but let's put this back but as I said I still feel that the intensity on the scent could be bigger it, it doesn't need to be very intense but just a small bit more it would make a world of a difference in my opinion because the rest is just as I said before top top notch so that was our conclusions that's our shave uh, we tried the new formula by Alien Shaves. The other thing that I still have to point out, it's the small details in the label there, which for me are really nice, like the cocktail lounge, the 51 lanes, the air conditioned and all this stuff. Small details that can put a smile on your face when you read it and you actually see it. Like, yeah, I had to point this out again. So that's it for me now. Blabbering too much already. I hope you guys enjoyed this shave. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to put a like on it. It really really helps the channel if you want to help the channel even more there's my affiliate links down below there's a few codes for you guys as well if you want to purchase anything with a discount you have the codes down below I leave the link to alien shaves down below as well if you want to check them out I hope to see you in the next one bye bye ciao